Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at my Volvo 945. We're going to be swapping out the exhaust system on it because it's completely rotted out. But before we get started with that, let's go over to the table here and uh, do some unboxing of the things I bought during the Black Friday weekend. All right, so let's get started with this small box right here. This box is from LMR. This will be parts for the 740T5 engine swap project. And while I'm unboxing this, I'm going to tell you guys about some change of plans with the T5 engine swap project. Here we go, here we have an oil filter. This is a short oil filter that is designed to fit with the 760 sway bar. Here we have some candy. I love it when they pack candies. Mm. Click. Oh my, this is Well, this was a really bad idea. All right, so this next package is from ASS, Anderson Steel and Speed. I'm not sponsored, but we're gonna take a look at it anyway, because I wanna help you guys, and in order to help you guys, I need to tell you what companies make the, makes these things. Bracket, paper. This will be a pulley. Look at that. This is supposed to be the same uh, width as uh, the AC pump wheel. And we have some bolts. This is to delete the AC because we're not going to be running with the AC. Uh, why? I don't know. I just lost interest in it. Uh, it was a little bit too much work. The AC came from a 960, wouldn't fit the 740 and so on and so forth. And I just figured, you know what? This is probably going to turn into something somewhat of a race car anyway. So let's not get bothered with that. Uh, so I actually sold that and I bought a smoke machine instead. Don't ask me why. Before I put this away, I'm just kinda, I just wanna say thank you guys at ASS for making these things, the engine mounts, the AC delete kits, and all the other things you guys make. They are very high quality. I can highly recommend them. They come in a nice package. I mean, I got nothing to complain about so far. So uh, yeah, big shout out to ASS, Anderson Steel and Speed. So let's take this big box now. Now this guy has a lot of parts in it. And uh, there is a reason for it. The Volvo behind me, my 945, is completely broken, needs fixing. The S60, we need to sell that, so we need to fix a few things before we can sell it. And my wife's V70 needs a tow hook and some, uh, what is that called? I have no idea what that's called. It's like a screen you put up uh, over the rear seats that protects the luggage in the trunk from coming into the car. So uh, we're gonna put that in in one episode, but this is the main box. Now, when I drove over here with this box, I think I forgot to buy spark plugs, but we will soon find out. Now, let me tell you a little bit about V-Parts. V-Parts is a really good store here in Sweden that stocks a lot of Volvo parts. I think they have over 6,000 parts numbers, and they always leave these handmade written uh, notes in there, checking off that everything is packed, and and they always send you chocolate. This time they actually send you chocolate that you want to eat. That is really positive because last time they sent me this, they sent me this, mint stone. Milk chocolate filled with bits of mint. I did not like that. This is a lot better, Twix. You can actually eat these. Uh, here we have some rubber protection boots for the springs that are going in the S60. We're gonna swap out the springs in the front to stock springs instead of these lowering springs. This is kind of a rubber damping uh, for the top and the bottom of the spring. So that is really good to have. Here we have a handbrake cable for the Volvo 945. As you all know, that was pretty broken. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna replace that. Here's an air filter for the uh, Volvo. Although it is the wrong air filter, unfortunately, because the one I have is square. What do we have here? Air filter carbon? Oh, no. What the hell? Oh, never mind. Did I do that? Why did I do that? Okay, so I have parts for the V70 and the S60 here. This is for the V70, I believe. We'll have to take a look at all this, make sure it's all right. Uh, that might be correct. I've never changed the air filter on that car, so I wouldn't know. What do we have here? Fresh air filter. All right, honestly, a little bit confused over the filter situation here, but I'm gonna have a look at that. Uh, something may be wrong here, but 
Um, anyway, these guys are really good to deal with when it comes to returns and stuff, so I'm not really uh, bothered by that. Here we have some seals. I can get them out of the package. Okay, so we have the rear crank seal for the uh, Volvo 940 behind me. We're gonna change that. Here's a uh, oil filter plug for the Volvo 940. Here is a cam seal, I believe, for the 940. Here is for the uh, uh, valve cap where you put the oil in. Uh, got a new seal for it there as well. This is the crank seal, the front one on the Volvo 945. This is the seal for the S60 to the, uh, to the oil cap. Here we have two plugs, one for the V70 and one for the S60 for the oil drainage. And here is a gasket for the oil pump axle that sits in front of the engine because you have three, three gaskets in the front. So you have the top to the cam, then you have to the oil pump, and then at the bottom you have for the crank. So we're gonna replace all of those because it's leaking oil everywhere. We're also going to take a look at the PCV system on the 945 because something is causing this to leak. And we have some hose clamps for the servo pump hoses for the S60 that are leaking. All right. Oh, so here's the springs. What is this? Some kind of Chinese puzzle? Whoa. All right. <laughs> we got the two springs out. Uh, so hopefully these are going to fit just fine. I'm just gonna put them together like that so you can separate them. All right, next thing, what is this? Uh, let's have a look, oil filter. Oil filter for what? That's a pretty tall oil filter, must be for the V70. What do we have here? Let's have a look. Oh, this is to the Volvo, uh, the 940. Why do I say that? This is to the Volvo, I only own Volvos. This is a um, heater control valve. And this one is leaking pretty badly on the Volvo 945 behind me. So we're gonna replace that. What do we have here? Fuel filter. This is for the V70, good. Ah, this is an oil filter for the S60. What do we have here? Fuel filter, again. All right, let's see what this is. Tank for power steering pump. I just decided to buy the whole can, the whole canister, uh, instead of just the cap. That, I mean, only the cap is leaking, but we might as well just change the whole thing out. So I just went ahead and bought this. This is mud flaps for the V70. It does not have any. Uh, so this is gonna be really nice. We have a set for the front and a set for the back. All right, that's it. That's a little bit of the unboxing from this box. So let's box it back and continue on with the other two boxes we got over here. All right. All right. Now I don't really know what this is called in English, but this is a Lastgalle. I'll put a uh, translation down below. Yeah, this is supposed to fit the wife's car and it looks, there is a wife's car on here, so that should be good. What do you think is in box number three? So this is a tow hitch, I think it's called, or tow bar or something like that. This is gonna be a uh, solid tow bar. It's not gonna be detachable in any way because those things are just dreadful. Put a solid one in there. Don't have the ones that you can take off because they will just break. I mean, maybe if you don't live in Sweden, but at least over here, it's they're just hopeless. When I bought this, I didn't really think about the uh, electric uh, aspect of this. So that is something we're still gonna have to take a look at, but we'll figure that out. There's also some more stuff on the way, but that'll be that'll come in later. All right, you guys, so this is the new exhaust, which is not new, it's very, very much in a used condition, but it is stainless and it was cheap. And that is the point of this car, it's supposed to be cheap. So we're just gonna smack this on there, we're gonna cut the old one off. We're not gonna use the entire exhaust, we're gonna use it from the catalyst and back, because uh, I, I can't be bothered with the changing the whole downpipe and stuff. I can't use this downpipe because the flange is all broken in the front, 
it's been loose at some point and it's just gnawed off the uh, the flange completely so we can't use that we're just going to run with the three inch downpipe and then it will go into this 2.25 exhaust system or something like that and uh, yeah i think it'll be great at least we'll get the that horrible sound away right so we're in my favorite place in the world right now which is underneath this car uh, getting ready to cut this exhaust don't forget safety glasses and air protection we're gonna cut it about right here so we have some pipe to play with once we get the, uh, uh, the another exhaust on there, the old new one. Alright, so now what we need to do is mark this up a little bit and see where we're going to cut this off. Then we're going to do some welding to get these two pipes together. That needs to go about right there. This will most likely slip into that. So let's remove this and try to get this pipe out. this in here we'll all right that's not the prettiest I've ever done but welding underneath a car is something that is just hopeless no, I am not using stainless steel wire, so it's not going to be perfect, but that does not matter. This car is not about being perfect. What we're going to do now is we're going to remove the entire downpipe and weld this up on the table. We're going to clean it up, we're going to weld it up, and then we're going to put it back and job done. So we're just going to do up all these. I know it looks like crap. We're going to weld these up. We're going to remove these clamps. So we're just going to have weld. This is going to be one piece, this whole thing. And then we're going to put it back on the car. Thank God for next door neighbors sometimes. I forgot completely to bring this when I went to pick up the welder from my friend. Luckily, my neighbor, I knew he had a, a small stick weld, so I thought he must have one of these, and he did. Which, will, which is very good, because that will save my white Swedish face from getting third degree burns. Hey, wow, not my greatest welds, to be honest. <laughs> there was oil all under here, as you can see by this uh, lambda, and it's all rusted, so it's almost impossible to weld in, but I think I pulled it off kind of anyway, so I'm happy with this. So let's get this back on the car and, uh, yeah, start bolting the exhaust up. Hey, I wonder how... I wonder how this sounds like if you just like turn it on without a downpipe at all. Get this exhaust up here again. Oh. Oh Feels kind of sucky to uh, downsize an exhaust system. I don't think I've ever done that. Oh yes. 
got the rubber on. Not something I usually celebrate, but in this case, I'll have to go. we have a few leaks that was expected i did not have my exhaust paste well i had one but it was dried the shit. i can show it to you like i said i have uh i had the exhaust paste fire gum from holtz but you know it's hard uh no good it's too old anyway that's all i have for you guys today hope you guys liked it and i'll see you in the next video coming up shortly